What is up guys? My name is Jokir, also known as DNK, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Pokemon Go on your computer. So, this kind of method is used by the people na ayo lang talagang lumabas ng bahay or talagang hindi ma-access yung game kasi hindi pa available sa area nila. Katulad na lang natin dito sa Pilipinas. So, ito yung ginagamit ko ngayon in order for me to enjoy the game. So, be without further ado, let's go ahead and install what's needed to be installed. So, let's go to en.bignox.com. So, we're gonna be using the Nox app player in order to play the game. Okay? So, once you're there na sa website nila, just click the Pikachu here sa gilid. And then, it'll open a new tab or a new window. And... Ito yung page na to, may instructions to kung paano ma-install. Kung so kung ayun yung makinig sa akin at gusto niyo lang i-follow yung mga words na nakasulat dito, just go ahead. You're free to do whatever you want. But if gusto niyo lang makita, may visual aid kayo, then stick with me for a while. Uh, Tisin niyo lang yung boses ko. So, mabilisan lang, just scroll down and find the part that says try out Pokemon Go for PC. Just click that one and then it'll start to download. Ah, uh, itong dina-download nyo is the package. It's a package na. Ah, uh, ito na yung Nox App Player plus yung Pokemon Go na APK. Naka-pre-install na yung Pokemon Go sa package na to. So, once na na-download yun na yan, punta kayo sa download uh, folder nyo kung saan man and then double-click nyo ngayon yung installer nito and then lalabas itong ganitong window, yung Nox bla bla bla. Sa first time installees, installees, mga users, nakalagay lang is install. Sa akin si override kasi naka-install na nga yung Nox sa PC ko. Click nyo lang yung install and then, hindi ko na siya i-click guys ha, kasi naka-install na siya and I don't want to, you know, destroy my files. Anyway, click nyo lang yung install and then may lalabas sa progress bar and at some point around 80% or so, the installer will ask for permission from you to install a driver. Go ahead and install it. Huwag kayo matakot. Natakot. I-install nyo lang siya kasi kailangan nyo ng Nox. And in the future, kapag may iba pang games na gusto nyo yung laruin, and ayun na nang gumamit ng Bluestacks, yun, uh, kailangan ng Nox yun. Once na tapos na mag-install, uh, may nakalagay na ngayon na parang gusto bang i-start yung, yung application, click nyo lang yung start button and then Nox should load up. So, akin, ilo-load up ko na rin yung Nox ko. So, Ito yung first yung makikita, uh, naka-advertise talaga yung Pokemon Go. For first time users, uh, yung orientation niya is naka-tablet mode kasi yun yung default na size ng Nox player or Nox app player. Sa akin kasi, sinet up ko na siya na yung default niya na resolution is just like the smartphones. So, once na loaded na, uh, wala pang Pokemon Go na makikita uh, just pag, pag tapos ng mag-load kailangan nyo munang hintayin for a few minutes uh, para mag-install yung Pokemon Go if hindi siya mag-install then go ahead and download Pokemon Go uh, the Pokemon Go APK sa website din nila or kung saan kayo comfortable na mag-download or kung may copy na kayo just go ahead and uh, go to the area kung nasan nyo download yung go to the folder kung nasan nyo download yung APK and then just drag and drop it dito sa, ano, sa app player it should install. Kung ayo at the first try, just do it again. It'll install eventually. Alright, so yung pinaka the best na feature ng Nox player is the feature that you're able to walk inside the game. You don't have to go out to walk to change para, alam mo na, para ma-explore yung mapa. Para ka lang naglalaro talaga ng Pokemon sa Game Boy or sa DS. Parang ganun lang. Except it's Pokemon Go. So, first things first, you have to set your location. I-click nyo to itong virtual location na to so may lalabas na kung saan pwede ka mag search ng area so gusto nyo kung makasama or makabattle whatever sa Pilipinas kayo just type in central park again geocode and then yan uh, zoom in nyo lang and just nandito ako banda ngayon so double click nyo lang sya yan double click nyo lang then may lalabas na ito, weather location is here. Just click OK and then selected. So, yan na yung area kung saan kayo unang lalabas sa Pokemon Go. Okay? So, close nyo yan and then you're ready to go. Open nyo lang yung Pokemon Go. Now, if first time kayong 
uh, mag-open ng Pokemon Go, first time ka nag-install, hihingi ng Pokemon Go yung birthday ninyo. Just put a birthday that's above uh, 18 years old. Pagkatapos, or I don't think, yeah, 18 years old. And pagkatapos yan, i-ask kayo kung anong ilalagay nyo, Google account ba, or yung Pokemon Trainer Club. You can use whatever you want. Just make sure na uh, ito ay inyo at hindi sa ibang tao. Yan. And just a recommendation lang din. Uh, for me, I'm using a dummy or an older Gmail account pa dito. Kasi gusto ko maglaro ng Pokemon Go dito sa Pilipinas once it's actually released. So, yun yung gusto kong gawin. Kaya iba yung nilagay ko na ano, iba yung nilagay ko na Gmail account. So, anyway. So, once the game loads up, eto yung makikita nyo. So, nandito ako ngayon sa Central Park kung saan ko nilagay yung sa map. And makikita nyo may mga Pokestops, may mga gyms uh, na nakita nyo okay sa lahat. So, ito rin, pag first nyo rin mag-load ng game, makikita nyo to. Itong parang compass na to. WASD, diba? Uh, visible yan sa, ano, visible yan. Nakaganito yan eh. Yan. Nakaganyan yan kapag first time nyo mag-load. Ang kailangan nyo lang gawin is i-click itong keyboard na to sa taas. Mat just below this shake thing i-click nyo yan and then i-click nyo yung save and then i-baba nyo yung opacity to 0% para mawala but it's still there so yung feature na yun actually is ano uh, um, just i-turn up lang natin yung volume yung feature na yun is para magamit natin yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na pwede kayong maglakad in game you know pasensya na kayo kung medyo laggy because I'm recording at the same time naglalaro so medyo laggy siya but Kapag hindi ka nagre-record and okay naman yung computer mo, wala siyang problema, hindi siya lagi. Okay? So, oh, may side up dito banda. So, lalakad siya forward using the W key, papunta ron sa red kung nasa nakapoint yung compass. Yan. So, kung pipindot ka ng A, so papunta siya sa left kung nasaan yung red. Yan. Yan. Testing natin tong Pokestop na to para makita nyo na working siya. There's a Snorlax over there. Yan. So may may isa pang magandang feature itong to, itong slider na to. Click niyo siya and then i-slide niyo lang para mag-zoom out siya. Yan. Make sure to un uncheck 'yan ha kasi kapag hindi niyo na-check mag zoom in zoom out lang 'yan. All right, so nakapaglaro na tayo. Let's go ahead and find a Pokemon na para makita nyo na working talaga siya and makakapaglaro kayo ng maayos. Take note na mas better to kapag uh, mas maganda yung computer ninyo. But there are also some settings naman na ano na you can set up. Oh, uh, may Pokemon ata dito. Let's see. Yan, may Ratata. I really want to capture a Ratata but shit. Anyway, uh, first time load, uh, naka-AR naka to. So, disable nyo lang. Click nyo tong AR na nandito sa taas para ma-disable yung camera. Kasi wala namang, hindi naman kailangan ng augmented reality. Kung maglalaro ko lang naman sa bahay. Yan. Capture that. Huwag ka na lumabas. Isang capturean lang sana. Yes. Okay. So, Uh, just to let you know pala din, may instances kasi na nag-freeze yung game pag nagka-capture ka. So, kapag nangyari yon, ang kailangan mo lang gawin is to close the the app or the game and then i-rerun nyo lang. Para mag-gawing mas mabilis yan, punta kayo sa settings, sa, sa system settings, and then punta kayo sa interface, and then make sure na nakaklik tong close application. And then i-save changes nyo siya. Once na mag-freeze siya, eto yung parang trash ka na button i-click nyo to para mag-close yung app mag-close yung game and then i-rerun nyo lang ulit so ganun lang ganun lang kadali yung fix and then kapag kunyari GPS not found pa rin sya make sure to set the location again and then after setting it again make sure to restart the whole app player yung buong, app, yung buong application nya yung buong software na to i-close nyo and then restart nyo yun yun lang yung tanging paraan para ma-fix yung uh, GPS not found na yan Marami pa rin tweaks na pwede nyo gawin. Uh, may advanced properties na pwede nyo i-set up yung RAM usage nya. Yung orientation ng sinasabi ko. Yung orientation ng, ng app player, tablet, or phone. Uh, kapag pala hiningi ng game, or ay hiningi ng game, hiningi ng app na i-on yung root. Kailangan nyo i-on yung root and then i-run a startup para hindi kayo on ng on every time. 
So, so far, yun lang naman yung kailangan yung i-set up. Kung may mga questions pa kayo, uh, just leave a comment or i-PM nyo ko or kung ano man. Uh, leave a like and share it kung nagustuhan nyo at gusto nyo rin maglaro yung mga kaibigan nyo. Remember, kung gusto nyo kong makasama sa ano Central Park, Team Instinct, pero kung Team Valor kayo, okay lang din. Uh, maglaban pa rin tayo. So, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Jokir, also known as DNK. And this has been a short uh, tutorial for Pokemon Go on Nox, on the Nox app player so we can enjoy the game before it's released here in the Philippines. Thank you guys! See ya!